So a bit of a change of scenery today. I'm out in the glorious Lake District hoping to capture some autumn colour. And a bit of a confession, I haven't got Meg with me today, so please don't turn off straight away. Um, but I am joined with somebody else who's not quite as fluffy or as cute, but you may recognise him. Now if he's a good boy, he might get a biscuit and a bit of a belly rub later on. So as some of you will already know, me and Thomas are running a workshop here in February, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so we've come over for a few days to do a bit of a recce trip really and just make sure we've got some really nice locations planned for when we come back for our winter trip. So we've come to Borrowdale and I was quite excited by the forecast because it said there was going to be a bit of mist and fog here so we thought we'd start in the woodland, see if we can get, take advantage of that autumn colour, maybe just sort of send out the woodland and get some bigger views but as it's turned out there's no mist or fog and the light's really quite poor. Um, but there's, there's a bit of mood, we've got Castle Crag in the background there, looks quite nice. We've got some colour with a silver birch, this one's quite green but that gives quite a nice contrast with the others. So we're just going to have a mooch about and kind of see if we can get something before Hurricane Ophelia arrives. So that's, we've got a really strong winds coming late this afternoon so that's either going to be really interesting or quite dangerous and we'll take shelter in the hotel. But uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. This is such a gorgeous location, the colour's fantastic but the light's absolutely shocking but it doesn't matter, like I said this is a recce, it's not about capturing portfolio images for ourselves, it's about just being prepared for the future. So uh, yeah it's just going to be some pretty simple compositions I think, if I spot anything that really captures my eye then I'll take some time over that and then hopefully I'll have an opportunity to talk about compositions in, in more detail. So it started raining again and it was absolutely chucking it down not long ago and it went incredibly dark, all the light was just sort of sucked out of the landscape. So we thought, do you know what, we'll just call it a morning, go into Keswick, get a big mug of coffee and then see what this afternoon brings. But we were just heading back to the car, sort of trudging through all this sopping heather, we were absolutely soaked. And then there was just this incredible glow happened. I don't know really where it came from but it was raining and it was moody. But then there's just this glow which was just sort of bouncing off all the yellow and orange and autumnal colours. So we just sort of started scrambling around to see if we could get a picture together. So I stopped at these three trees here. Taking a much wider view to the shots that I typically take. But um, I thought it was my best option as we were walking back. We've got this really nice sort of hawthorn in the foreground with the red berries on. I don't know if we'll pick up them. But we've got the yellow leaves on the silver birch over to the left. Got a big silver birch over to the right that's quite green but has a little splattering of yellow and all this mist just started to kick up off the off the valley and just create some nice separations and there's castle crag in the background that was looking really quite moody with this sort of big bright glow behind it as well so i think the elements sort of work work quite well uh, so i've gone quite a wide view and then i've taken a vertical crop as well It'll probably be a four by five something like that just to give me different options afterwards um, but yeah it's raining again there is some really nice mist kicking around um, but all our gear is getting wet so i think it definitely is time for the coffee now and i keep, I keep looking around for meg it's just so weird not having her here and i really miss her i'm sure she'd love bouncing through all this bracken uh, but yeah next time next time
with sex. Oh.